Hi, and thanks for joining us today. I'm in studio with Namir Halak, U.S. Tax Principal here at Davidson & Company. Namir, what are we talking about today? Hey, Bahar. So today's topic is focused on companies that hired U.S. employees and the three-year window they have to get cash in their pockets. Who doesn't love cash in their pockets? Sure. So President Biden signed the infrastructure bill in 2021, and this got a lot of buzz, and rightfully so. It's all about hard infrastructure, building roads and bridges and access to high-speed internet, but not a lot of focus on tax. So one of the surprising changes that got slipped in was an early sunset of the Employee Retention Credit, ERC. And a lot of U.S. tax practitioners were not expecting it to sunset until the end of 2021. ERC, what is it? How does it work? So the ERC was originally enacted by the CARES Act in early 2020. Remember 2020? Yeah, it was such a fun year. Can we not rewind? So the ERC was actually the government's response to the world shutting down, to reward and encourage businesses to keep employees on their payroll. So companies got a credit against payroll taxes for the employee wages paid. The way the formula works is 70% of the qualified wages up to $10,000 per quarter. So essentially you're getting $7,000 per employee. Now it's not a loan that needs to be repaid, it's essentially a financial stimulus benefit. And so for the employer to be eligible, the business needs to have partially or fully suspended due to government orders from COVID-19, or they suffered significant decline in their gross receipts. So did the infrastructure bill take this benefit away from companies? So what the infrastructure bill did is just made the wages paid in the last quarter of 2021 ineligible. But let's be clear, employers still have three years to make the claim for previously paid qualified wages. So if you have like 10 employees, that adds up to $210,000 of cash from the government. An even lesser known program is the Recovery Startup Program. Now this was enacted in 2021 to try to get businesses up and running after a super tough 2020. Now to be eligible for this, the businesses needed to have been launched after February 15, 2020, with average annual receipts of less than a million dollars and at least one US employee other than the 50% owner. Starting a business in 2020, talk about bad timing, but also congrats, you are one brave business owner. Absolutely. So the Recovery Startup Program provides $50,000 per quarter for those two quarters, Q3 and Q4, at the end of 2021. So that's $100,000 sitting on the table for companies who had a rough start. Yes, and it's so not too late. If your company hired US employees and you think you may be eligible, contact our US tax team and let us help you get that cash in your pocket. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Namir. And if you have any further questions for Namir, give him a call at the number at the bottom of the screen or send him an email at ustax at davidson-co.com. Thanks, everyone.